Tara Wadoom, Executor. Hey there, everybody. Flick here again with another stupid voice tutorial. And this time I thought I'd do a voice that's kind of close to my heart. So I grew up with uh, video games like Warcraft and Starcraft, and I love Starcraft. And my favorite race in Starcraft were the Protoss. I might be in the minority there. I think most people probably like the Zerg, but whatever. So I thought I would try to do a voice that sounds a little bit like maybe a, a Protoss unit of some kind. So you start off with a normal dorky clip like this one. Entaro Wadoom, yeah. Executor. Entaro Wadoom, baby. So I'm going to go to Effect, and the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't have a studio, maybe you do, uh, I just do this in my office room, uh, is go to Noise Removal, get Noise Profile, and get rid of it. Just to clear up my uh, audio file, make it sound nice and clean. And then I'm going to hit Control D and duplicate that top track. Now I'm going to mute this bottom track, because I'm not going to do anything with it, but I am going to highlight this top one, because this one's going to get modified. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to an effect I think is glossed over a lot, and that's equalization. So usually what you see in these tutorials is just a uh, is just a graph, and then you try to emulate it, and you hit OK. But I thought I might try to explain what this actually is. So this uh, graph is basically limited to the human hearing range. It's roughly 20 to 16,000 uh, uh, 16, hertz is what you can basically hear. So within this you're allowed to boost or lower the gain on certain aspects of your file. So what I have here is I've selected what is essentially the the, the masculine section of the my voice at least, which sounds like this. Entaro Wadoom, Executor. It's got a lot of really deep, bassy sort of notes to it, and I've dropped everything else off. Now you can play with this and see what it does. So if I were to boost the gain on everything here, this boosts the gain on everything above roughly 70 hertz. Entaro Wadoom, Executor. You get back a lot of those high, hissy sort of sounds, and I'm just trying to get rid of those. So I'm trying to I'm trying to clean up my file just to isolate this one section of really deep, really strong, really powerful voice. Um, you can play with this and see what different parts do. Everything at the lower end of the hurt, uh, hertz uh, range down here is just going to be really deep, really muddy. Uh, sounds so I'm trying to sort of cut it off at a certain point because otherwise it'll just be a, a loud noise and it'll be really irritating. So I hope that explains a little bit what I'm trying to do with this. Uh, we're gonna use uh, that you saw the curve that we're using there. I'm gonna go back to effect again. This time I'm just gonna go to change pitch and I'm gonna drop the pitch about ten negative ten percent right there. Just make it nice and deep because obviously the protests don't have very high pitched voices and the last thing I'm going to do is go to effect with a delay time of 0 0.05 seconds and a decay factor of 0.4 that's sort of my go to echo it's real it's kind of subtle it's kind of cool it doesn't sound like the grand canyon or anything uh, i've also found that if you have gverb uh the plugin you can kind of use that as well but i sort of just preferred plain old echo plus it doesn't require you to download plugins which is i'm all for that so I'm going to go down here and unmute my lower track my unmodified track and i'm going to drop the gain about negative eight decibels and I'm just gonna do that because I want uh, I want this to be the what you primarily hear is that modified section of the track so then I'll play it again you already heard it at the beginning of the video but it sounds like this Entaro Wadoom Executor and I think it sounds pretty cool it's got a little bit of an echo a little bit of power to it might sound uh, something like an Archon maybe you could use phaser effect to, to make it sound more like an Archon or something like that but anyways this is quick this is easy I think it sounds like a Protoss so uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.